Imagine this. The world is obsessed with America's F-35 and Russia's Su-57. But quietly, a new jet has emerged from a country nobody expected. Not the US, not China, not even Europe. South Korea, once seen only as a buyer of foreign jets, has shocked the world with its own lightweight fighter. And here's the twist. This machine might change the balance of power in Asia forever. This is the story of the KF-21 Borame. Welcome to Extreme Engineering, the place where we uncover the world's most impossible machines and the insane human ambition behind them. From jets that outrun missiles to megastructures that defy gravity, if it pushes physics to the limit, you'll find it here. South Korea, country known more for smartphones and K-pop, has built one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world. For decades, South Korea lived under the constant threat of North Korea's massive arsenal, missiles, artillery, and unpredictable leadership. Add to that the rise of China's military power just across the sea, and Seoul realized something. Relying only on American jets was no longer enough. So in secret, they started building something bold. A fighter jet of their own. Not a copy, not a downgrade, but an aircraft that could compete with the world's best. Indonesia joined as a partner, but most of the brain power came from Korean engineers. By 2015, the dream looked shaky. Indonesia fell behind on payments. The U.S. refused to transfer four critical stealth technologies, fearing leaks. Without American help, the KF-21 risked becoming nothing more than a paper project. But South Korea had something powerful on its side. Determination. Instead of giving up, its engineers worked around the restrictions. They developed their own radar systems, advanced avionics, and stealth shaping techniques. Piece by piece, the impossible began to take shape. Then came April 2021. Under bright lights in Sacheon, South Korea, unveiled the KF-21 Borame for the first time. The crowd gasped. The jet looked every bit like a fifth-generation stealth fighter. Sharp angles, stealth curves, internal weapons bays. Suddenly, the world realized this was no paper project. This was real. The Borane, meaning Young Hawk in Korean, had taken flight. The KF-21 looks like a blend of the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, but it's uniquely Korean. It carries advanced radar, stealth shaping, long-range missiles, and powerful engines. And unlike the F-35, it's cheaper, designed to be produced in large numbers without bankrupting the nation. But here's where it gets interesting. The KF-21 isn't just about defense, it's about status. South Korea has joined the elite club of nations capable of building 4.5th generation fighters. That puts it shoulder to shoulder with America, Russia, and China, something nobody saw coming 20 years ago. Today, prototypes are flying and the world is watching closely. Because if the KF-21 lives up to its promise, it could be exported across Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Countries that can't afford the F-35 might look to Seoul instead. And think about what that means. South Korea challenging America's monopoly on stealth exports, undercutting Russia, and even threatening China's plans to dominate Asian skies. But here's the cliffhanger. The KF-21 isn't fully stealth yet. Critics say it's more like a 4.5 generation fighter, still waiting for upgrades to engines and weapons bays. Will it ever reach true fifth generation status? That's the gamble. What we do know is this, a nation once underestimated is now flying head to head with superpowers. And if war ever broke out over the Korean Peninsula or the South China Sea, 
the KF-21 could be the jet that rewrites history. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Every subscription inspires our team to keep researching, exploring, and bringing you even more mind-blowing engineering contents. Stay tuned, because the future of engineering has only just begun, and we can't wait to share it with you. See you in the next video.